Welcome to the Cardboard Crash Course. My name's Ethan, and I'm here today to talk to you about how I organize Twilight Imperium 4th Edition and its expansion. So, it's really, really quite simple. I just put everything in one giant pile. Frontier tokens, command counters, trade goods, and even ships. Just throw it in one big pile and you're good to go. Just start playing the game like that. It's really, really quite simple. Anyway, now that that's the end of the video, I'd love to talk to you about my love for the Iowa Hawkeyes. Man, they're just doing great this se- Hello? Hey! Who are you? I'm you, but better. I support the Kansas Jayhawks. I organize my board games into easy to set up organizers. And I like blue cheese more than ranch on my wings, you weirdo. Hey buddy. This is my channel, okay? Just stay back, okay? No, you don't understand. This is my channel now. What are you gonna do with that copy of Twilight Imperium 4th Edition 2017 by Christian T. Peterson? Take back what you took from me. <sighs> Ugh. Welcome to the Cardboard Crash Course, everybody, under new management. My name's also Ethan, and I'm here to show you how I organize my Twilight Imperium 4th Edition game and Prophecy of Kings all in one box using this beautiful organizer that helps minimize takedown, setup, and even gameplay during the game, and works beautifully, seamlessly, with the entirety of the game of Twilight Imperium. I would like to really quickly, however, let you know that this was sent to me to review by Nate from the Panamaniac 3D Etsy account. I was not paid to say anything in this video past this point. However, it was given to me for free, so keep that in mind. I do have a little bit of bias towards organizers in general, as I love the simplicity of organizing it in a way like he does. However, that's just for my own preferences. Sending me it for free does not change my thoughts on this organizer in particular, and he even told me to let you guys know the honest truth of how he can get better and improve this, as it's not perfect, but it is quite near that. I'll also go ahead and have his Etsy account linked in the description below, as well as a pinned comment. You can use the code CCC10 on his entire Etsy store, not just this organizer, and he sells all kind of organizers for other games such as Seven Wonders that you can buy in either STL or shipped right to your door. That's CCC10 for a 10% discount at checkout for his entire store. So without further ado, let's check out all the different components of this organizer and how it fits together in the box as well as my final thoughts towards the end. Thank you very much for sticking around until this point, let's check it out. Alright, so this is everything that will be shipped to you if you purchase it physical. Let's take a look. As you can see here, we have eight different colors of player organizers, including all of the ships, promissory notes, and tech. We also have 25, that's right, 25 different faction organizers that have all of the cards and tokens right in the separate boxes, including the Council Calaris, which you can buy it with or without. We have many organizers for all of the different tokens, as well as the codex components even, and a place to put your strategy cards, as well as all the different decks of cards that you'll be utilizing throughout the game. And finally, you even have an organizer to fit in the box for all of those pesky planet tiles that just won't seem to fit anywhere else. So let's go ahead and take a look at a couple of these individually. All right, let's look at the player organizer first, which I think is really the most important part because not only are you going to be able to use this to organize in the box, you're actually going to be utilizing some of these pieces during gameplay, and this is included. Now, as you can see, you have a place for the promissory notes as well as the colored technologies. Namely, you're going to be keeping these in your hand off to the side, but you can keep all the technologies in there during gameplay. This is a perfect little place for you to be able to grab those cards as it has this little lip here. So pulling that out, you can see what this product is truly made out of. This is a 3D printed product, even if you order it physically, so keep that in mind. It is incredibly durable, however. I can squeeze it and it can slightly bend as you can see, but it will not snap easily. Even if you might be sitting on it or something, I really don't expect this to snap easily. I know you can really sort of be afraid that it's gonna pop in the video, but know that while I'm actually squeezing this, I don't feel like it's gonna snap at all. 
It's made out of this strong mesh at the bottom, so if you're buying the STLs, then you're not going to have to waste too much of your filament in order to print it. But you have a place for each individual little ship here. I think the only unfortunate part about this player uh, board is that the flagship does go with the dreadnoughts. If you are really OCD about this, it might bother you a little bit. And I might suggest to possibly put it over there with your uh, technologies during gameplay or whatever, but it doesn't bother me too much. Having the dreadnoughts and the flagship together is, is fine with me. It is fairly easy to grab each of these, actually. My fingers fit perfectly right in any of these and it fits them all nicely. It also is flush and you'll notice why that is important towards the end there. So that's the player board. Alongside that, during gameplay, you're also going to have your individual faction uh, organizer here. This has a little lid that comes off and it fits real snugly in there during organization, but you can keep it off and it includes all of your cards that you'll need with the icon face up and it keeps all your counters together. You can keep it in a separate little spot next to your reinforcements so you can grab your command and control counters easily. It's a really nice little simplistic way of doing it. A quick note, as I mentioned earlier, the Council Claris comes in a little mini sized box. You can either get it in a mini size box or you can actually request him to send you in a normal size box if you do have printed out tokens for it. I just have the cards because I like playing rules as written, so I'm not going to get any tokens for the Council Claris. So this works perfectly for me. But if you buy the STLs, you can also always update it. The STLs are just a few dollars on Etsy. So nice little way to update it if you'd like. And it future proofs it. So if there are any more factions, you can always just print off more boxes. All right, next up, I want to show off the community organization. And I actually quite like this a lot for one particular reason. You actually get a total of nine of these boxes here. I'm only showing uh, the five here because those are the only ones you technically need during the game. But you can also include all your little overviews here that are printed out in the codex as well as alliance reminders. And you can have doubles of all kinds of things such as trade goods, so you don't have to reach completely across the table. You, of course, have your frontier tokens and your dice, which I keep a couple of those as well. Uh, fighters, infantry, all of that. You've got your attachments as well as other tokens. Of course, the speaker is gonna be removed right away, but all the other tokens fits there. And you've got all of your exploration as well as relics. Now. One thing that I want to touch on really quick that I love about this organizer. This is super future-proofed. Like I said about printing more boxes, you also have a lot of room. I don't sleeve my cards because I'm a maniac with this game, but most of you, I bet, do. And this actually is meant to fit all of the cards sleeved. So as I push this aside and grab some of the decks, you can notice that it has quite a lot of room here. That's to incorporate sleeves into it. So although I don't, it actually fits perfectly still and stands up great, but you can always do it with sleeve cards. Even the action card deck with the codex is meant to be able to be held sleeved. So that goes for everything, including objectives, as well as the oddly shaped planet organizer. This will almost go three quarters of the way with sleeves, so it's also future-proofed so that when more planets inevitably do come out with the second expansion of the game, crossing my fingers, it happens in a year or two, the deck will be able to be held all in the organizer here. Now, the only downside I think to that is this is how the strategy cards are held. It's nice for organization, keeps it really sleek, keeps it standing up, and I'll show you how that fits in the box in a moment. But unfortunately, once these come out and you're placing the trade goods on them, you know, we're not playing in TTS, we're playing in uh, physical here. So you got to actually put the trade goods on them, then you don't really use the box anymore. So that's the only one that kind of goes across the table, doesn't stay in the organizer during the game, but it's, it's still fine. It works. You know, you keep most of your strategy cards by your player anyway. A quick last thing to touch on these is this. I had no idea what this was, and Nate actually had to explain it to me. But the idea is that as you're using these cards and they're getting discarded, you actually move them to the back of this. And this uh, little separator keeps moving forward and forward, so you can keep all of the discards together and not laid out on the side of it, so that once this reaches the front, you just reshuffle and you're good to go. The final thing I'm going to touch on is this nice way of holding planet hexes. It's 
perfectly sized, so you may have to print another one if we ever get more tiles. However, there is room in the box for you to be able to do that. It's just a sleek little design. Doesn't do a whole lot, but uh, it fits in nicely. Last thing I want to show you here is how it all fits into one box. This is the original Twilight Imperium 4th Edition box. It's going to all fit snugly in here. So let's go ahead and get started. So the player boards all go to one side. They fit perfectly next to each other. So they just slide in like that, and they're going to stack all the way up. So now that we've got all of those, next up is the faction organizers. They're just going to fit all the way across like this, and then they're going to go all the way up just like this here. So you've got all of those together. Then in the corner, the planet tile and the action cards and everything are just going to go collectively in that corner. So you'll see that here. All fit snugly and nicely there in that corner, and the planet hexes are going to go right there. And then finally, all of your separate organizers. We'll do that now. While we're finishing this, I'd like to note that the Alliance cards and all of the other cards that come from the Codex, I like to keep at the bottom just because I know that they may not be used. And finally, you're going to put your relics and all of your exploration right there. So you've got a full organization. The last thing to go in are all of your different bags, as well as the faction sheets. And then the rule books finally on top. You want to put the rule books last because it gives this little bit of lip above the relics and everything. And one of the major things that he was toting when he first reached out to me was that this has absolutely no lid lift. If you can see there, there's no extra space at the bottom. That absolutely helps with setup, takedown, gameplay, everything all together into one box that doesn't use the Prophecy of Kings expansion box at all and makes it a really nice, albeit heavy, <clears throat> box for your game. So what are my final thoughts? All right, should you buy this organizer? Well, so I want to go over two cons really quick. Kind of three, but the third one is really small. It's those strategy card organizers. I wish there was some kind of spread that you could print out to actually hold them, but I think on Thingiverse, there's some more of those. Uh, you can go ahead and print them from a different seller. I just wish that he sold it all in one file, but it's okay. The strategy cards stay near your board during the majority of the game. The other con is that I noticed that the planet holder was just ever so slightly too snug. It held all of the planets, but they kind of squeezed together just a little bit. So I kept a Mechatol Rex on the outside of the planet holder. That's just something that you need to fine tune if you're really good at moving uh, G codes, STL files. Um, I do have a 3D printer myself, so I'm gonna go ahead and change that up a little bit. It's not too difficult if you do know that, but keep in mind if you're buying this physically from Nate, then you might have to just keep Mechatol Rex or something outside of it. Maybe you don't use the hyperlines ever, so just keep those out of the box. And the other small gripe is that it's heavy. Now, <sighs> I am not a strong person because I play a lot of board games in my free time, but this is a heavy box. This is gonna, you know, be really, really difficult to place on the shelf and everything for some people. But that is also a pro because it is all in one box. It's gonna be just as heavy anyway, carrying the two. I think personally that's a positive for me but keep that in mind for you just in case your shelving unit might not be as robust as the wood i've got here so yeah that might be a pro for you that might be a con but let's touch on the couple of pros now keep in mind this was sent to me for free by nate but he did not pay for anything in fact he asked for an honest uh, review I always give an honest yet optimistic review of products, and I always will in the future. Honest yet optimistic, that is my go-to. So with that in mind, the pros to this are absolutely that everything is going to be kept together both in the box as well as in front of you the same way. You just slide those right in and slide them out when you're ready to play with them. All the colors stay together. I like that the faction boxes are all separate. It's not like one line because you can actually just pull it over to your play area. I like that it has a little circle so that you can actually see the faction icon on it. You can just pull it out easily. It's a really, really awesome product, honestly. It has the perfect dimension of 
the box, it fits snugly in there. You can even shake it from side to side. Pieces don't fly everywhere. The decks, that little divider, is phenomenal little usage of space. It allows you to keep all of the decks together. Namely, before I was just putting the discards to the side, I could just keep going on and on and on, but knowing that you like board games, you like Twilight Imperium, and you want to keep it all organized, this is the product for you. Keep in mind, CCC10 is your way to get 10% off Nate's entire store. You can go ahead and click the link in the description. If you want to send me a product in the future, I'm going to have my new PO box in the description, but please first reach out to me at cardboardcc at gmail.com. That's cardboardcc at gmail.com. If you want to email me for any reason, especially checking out new products, promoting them, giving an honest yet optimistic review of them, I would love to get an email from you. Or you can even send me a Discord DM or promote your own products in the Discord below. So absolutely check that out. And just a reminder, here's all of the patrons of the channel. I love you so much. I don't have sponsors for these videos, so even just the $5 tier a month helps me out so much much. For less than a price of a set of dice a month, you can get discounts on merch, you can get Discord roll, you can vote on videos and see them early, and all sorts of other things, so I'll leave that below if you're interested. But without further ado, let me know if this product helped you out. Let me know if you're going to uh, grab it, if you're going to print it out yourself, what you love to do with your Twilight Imperium organization style. Please let me know down below, leave me a like and subscribe, and have a wonderful rest of your day. Pax Magnifica, Bellum Gloriosum.